what's up beautiful people it's another day a new day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it i'm really excited being in your presence like presenting this to you being before on your screen it's another day an amazing day and before you this is grace marburio chubaka and uh, presenting to you me move me move finding the winner within so welcome i know uh, from wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, you may be in your car, you may be in your house, you may be at your workplace, wherever you are found right now. Uh, I really can't wait to see your com comments on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, and wherever you are, just feel free to send your suggestion, your comment about every subject that you're going to go, you're going to be talking about right here. And uh, guess what? Uh, I am not alone in the in the studio. I'm with uh, the three wonderful people, as you can see. You to rascals, you can call us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they, you can see them. You can see the smile on their faces. How are you doing, guys? Good. All right. Good. You are all right. Yeah, I can see Kuti. Kuti, what are you telling the people from uh, uh, from Zimbabwe? All right. Thank you. My friends and families and everyone who are watching us, uh, we are so glad to be here. My name is Midi Kudzi and uh, I can't wait to, to for this coming one hour. I feel like it's too short, but well, I can't wait. Really, from where I came from and meeting Kudzi, it's just an amazing, an amazing thing. I really, every time we're together like this, I just feel, you know, oh. some diversity and it's, yeah. it feels good, right? And joyous, I, I heard you in in Tanzania, right? <laughs> There's someone in Tanzania in Hai, in Swahili, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mambo wa Tanzania, tina wapenda sana. Stay tuned, this is me, Move. Finding the winner with the joyous Sarah Dombo, and we are glad to be before you. So wherever you are, you might be in East Africa, internationally, everywhere you can be now. You speak Swahili, Mungu akubariki. Kuwa nasi hapa baki nasi usikuwe nifase. Is our dear viewers um kukunda Axolomon. I'm excited. This is me move finding the winner within. I'm so happy to be a part of this blessing to our generation. And I'm so happy to be to together with this a wonderful panel. Uh, I know you people a great deliberation always comes out of you and your place. I thank God for this. Yeah, it's an amazing day, right? Yes. But yes. I, I'm feeling like I should be asking you some questions. I feel like <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm, I'm having some power, like uh, <laughs> I say you guys should do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> really? <laughs> Where did I last year, right? <laughs> Just a few seconds. So <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask every one of you one question. Mm. Just one question. It's simple. Uh, Julius, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is surprisingly yellow. Yellow. Wow. Uh, yeah. wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can shine that yellow. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I, it's beautiful. That sun, that sun, sunshine yellow. I just find it beautiful. Wow. So, good thing. Coffee What's brown. Up? Coffee brown. Coffee brown. Why coffee it brown? Blends, it blends. Okay, the brown. <laughs> See. I guess. <laughs> oh, I <see. laughs> <laughs> and Axe Solomon, that would be black and blue. Uh, black and blue. Black and blue? Yeah. Wow, so I have some people, have some <laughs> choices here. So it's not like anybody else. Indigo. 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 Yeah, you want <laughs> <laughs> What's Indigo? Guys, as you can uh, see, the smiles on our lips. It's an amazing day. This is Mimu finding the winner within. Stay tuned. Go on WhatsApp or on, on Facebook and send your message, send your. Uh, your comments and mm -hmm. everything we are actually we are going to be talking free we are all free feel free anything you can say we mix with what we are going to say here and we are going to make each other better now guys uh there is something that has been happening in the, in the world mm -hmm. like in the universe you know uh there are some rules principles uh arguments that have been taken uh in the generation before us, in the previous generation, yes. and we were just born in those rules and, and, and principles. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, we really don't have what to do about them, we can't change them. Now, we just inherit them, we just kind of leave them like that. 
uh, the Africans say you have to take your, 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 your bread price like a man has to go take uh, some values or things and you get the wife, you get a woman. Like uh, the people said, no, Christmas has to be on 25th of, 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 uh, of December and we could not change it. Now, there's something that I've been, uh, I've been hearing, it's like a principle. It's like a rule that the society has set. Yeah? I've been hearing some people saying that uh, for a man to be ready for marriage, mm -hmm. he has to be having some certain things. Exactly. Some people are like, uh, before a man gets married, he has to be having a house. He has to be having a job when he's getting paid very well. He has to be maybe having a car. So for me, I was wondering, is this just injustice or uh, discrimination on men? So if we, we have to be having all those things, what about women? What should women be having? If men should be having cars, houses, jobs, to get married, what about women? What should women be having? What should women be having? Yeah, to get married. That's a very interesting topic. And yeah, it is it's right, it is right that society has said it. Not only society but also, you know <coughs> when we look at God creating Adam, who creates Adam and equips him with all these before he brings him. So man is actually created in a way that they have a secure. But what should a woman have? What should a woman have? What she should she have? <laughs> what should I have? Yeah, that's what I was wondering also. People are always a man, 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 <laughs> now, women. Yeah, what I should have, first and foremost, is wisdom. Because if I am coming to, I am coming to help a vision there, because I believe the man is a vision there, that's why they will say a man must have a job, a man must have uh, a house because you're providing shelter. You know, when you have a job, you're securing what you are about to have. You're the head, you're the vision bearer. So, if I am going to come personally, I find what's very fundamental to begin with. I won't really go into the material world, the way you brought it, but I'll find it's very important for me to have wisdom. Because when I have wisdom, it's going to enable me to actually help you expound on what you have. If I have wisdom, I'll know how we can handle, first of all, your finances. Mm -hmm. Though still, today the world has changed. You can oh, see I am right. a woman, I am a lawyer, you know. W women have also come up, they are also working. But um, the only challenge is that some men find it as a threat. Okay, I'm challenged, okay. but what you have just yes, said. Mm. In this 21st century, uh, it's, I don't know, I feel like I feel like it's a lazy woman who says that, that a man is supposed to have um, a job and then a house and then here I just come with wisdom. So I'm thinking, what if his job ends? What's next? No, what we are, what actually we are talking about mm. is what a woman is supposed to have. No, listen, mm. because if you, if, you, if you have your job as a man, of course that, that's not debatable. You must have it. So what if the, the job is done? You're fired, that's, no longer have a job. That's where wisdom comes in. Because if you're earning, and I know how we can divide this, you know, the earnings, I know how we can invest, I know how what we can do with what you're earning, I know how we can build up. So that even when the job is gone, we don't necessarily look at the job, but their investments put up. But you can't do this without wisdom. Otherwise, you're going to always follow what the man says. I have brought the money, it is going to do this. I have brought the money, it's going to do this. Well, no, my view is different. So what is your view? <laughs> okay. I think me as a woman, this is what I'm supposed to have. Mm. I don't have any limits. Me as a woman, if I can have a job, if I can have the house, if I can have a car, then of let course it everyone be. can have that. No, like, what if I'm you're in a no, no, the question was if a man is supposed to have this, then what should a woman have? What should a so woman have? So I'm also saying mm -hmm. me, I can be as equal as it is. Do you know what we are saying? When he says what should a woman have, in other words, 
what is something that they really must have like it's not negotiable yeah you understand exactly. that's what it's i'm saying negotiable. that's what i'm saying i've heard what you've said yes. but what i'm saying is me as me d it is okay for me to have a car and a house and a job before i get married it's so very i'm very I'm very supposed to, i want to be equal and you can still not have it and still get married and the man but there still is not something have. you really need so ladies, the man can still not have ladies, those things it's right. not a must for, for you too you are the one that i have here, mm. the ladies that I have here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, for you to do you think that a man really should be having that it's a must that he should be having a car, a job, and a house to come to you and propose to you? This is, this is how I see the things. Me, I feel like they're just material, material, material things. I can say I want you to have a house today, there will be a like a, like floods and then the house is wiped away. I can say, you no, know, let me first speak, then you speak. Okay. I would say a man should have a job and the next thing you're fired. So mm. me, when it comes to me, there are things that I look at that are not materialistic. Me, I look at character. Because I'm going, wow. to, I'm going to say a job and he's going to get fired. Then what's next? You get? Okay. So me, I look more into a man's character before I start looking at what? what he has but of course he is supposed to have a source of income somewhere but that doesn't stop me to also have a source of income now when we are yes, looking I know no, how i am understanding this grace's grace's discussion is that mm. we are looking at someone when you are looking at a man having a job the house mm. we we have already moved past that table of character mm. you understand like yes this is but, but yes we have already moved past that you oh. can't just come character won't feed a family yeah, yeah, but that's, that's why I say it. So I also look beyond that, that. We've moved from the table of character. Mm -hmm. Now we are saying if a man should really have the job, if a man should really have the house, which is obviously a man must really have a job. Excellent. I believe uh, this is so hot. I was just learning. <laughs> And it's so interesting, uh, you know, union of man and woman is not only a, a biblical commandment or a, a union from God, but it's also a social, you know, a social union that is so uh, important in, in the community. And you find that the other part needs another one to makes it, make, it makes it full always. You find that if a man, for example, if you are saying if a man must have a job and a house, say if Solomon, if Solomon yes. must have a job, you know, and a house, they want of a woman. Mm. Well, you know, generation, generations change, and generations come with differing needs. Mm. In our generation, we did brought it up mm. that we having ladies that are well, having all, is. and men are also having it all. But mm. first and foremost, Joyas in the first place said something so fundamental. Even in the Garden of Eden, before God created, you know, man, there was everything the garden to till mm. and everything, mm. and then. After Adam was there, you know, in the garden, and it was seen that it wasn't good for him to be there without a helper. He was granted mm -hmm. a helper mm -hmm. after the garden was set. Because what to help was there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So God was not in a hurry to bring a helper. But he saw that there was need for a helper because there was a garden to till. So even it comes back to this person who has come to help. I, I, I'm, I'm so blessed by your... Uh, deliberation joyous mm -hmm. because and you are well. you are preparing and you are uh, working with a vision bearer so wisdom is paramount i believe yeah. uh, being submissive mm -hmm. because men are called upon to love their women i'm speaking this as a young christian man who is not married i'm 22 years but i can say this out men are called out to do what to love and yeah. women to do what to submit, submit. to the to, to the husband as the church submits to christ so submissiveness you know, being appreciating, appreciative, like appreciating everything, even though it's small. Never mm work it up. Now, put down with a cookie enough to say one more was it. Never forget a motor, do what? Thank. Even the simple gifts. Thank. So, being appreciating, submitting, total submission. You know, obedience. You know, obedience doesn't come with a lot of questions, by the way. Mm. Obedience never comes with a lot of questions. And even the person they are obeying to must be worthy to be, to like, for obedience to happen. So that's my talk on this part. Yes, can, okay. I ask, can you give you guys a scenario? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was talking to a friend of mine. Like I just threw with that question. Like this question has been circulating a lot on Facebook. So yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine. I'm like, he, then he told me he grew up with a single mother. So I asked him the question, but it's like, Midi, let me give you an example of me. My mother, there's a time when him and the mother had a conversation. The mother was like, you know what? His name is Kundai, he's in Zimbabwe. He's like, you know what, Kundi? If I did not have a job or a source of income, I don't think you guys would have studied. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I didn't have, because the father, 
took a different route. Mm. Like he didn't, it was not there for his family or for his wife or for anybody. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So if it was not because of the, the mother is not that has raised the kids, he has taken them mm. to school without even the what? The father being in the picture. So that's why when Grace asks me that question, now, since last night I've been thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? As much as I want a man that has a stable source of income and a man that has a, a car or a house or anything of that sort, I must have something as well. Mm. Because what if those things go? And then what? We look at each other outside fighting. So I'm thinking, I'm also, it doesn't matter. Fine, a man has a picture that he's supposed to have, but at the same time, as women, in this generation now, I think it's okay for me to have something of my own as well. Okay. There is something that Joy has said earlier, mm. it's about vision. He said that the man is a, is a vision bearer. Mm. And when the woman comes, she has to come to support that vision. Yeah. When she comes to support the vision, uh, now, uh, it doesn't, so, uh, to me, I feel like a, a man from a woman, he doesn't need more of it too. He needs... <laughs> Maybe you. We talked about generation changes. Yeah. Maybe you. Gen generation I'm, changes. I, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying mm -hmm. I think uh, a man will need a woman who can manage what he has brought. Mm -hmm. And if he has not yet got it, to help him go ahead and find it. What and if he already has it? If the man has already yes. had it. Yes. If it's, it's a company, has already set it up, it's running, it's successful. Then you need a woman. You mm -hmm. still need it to be expanded. Because mm -hmm. the, 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 the issue with life is that you're not going to just do something and end there. Mm -hmm. Every day you, mm -hmm. you are supposed to expand. Mm -hmm. Every day you're supposed to go to the next level. And you're not going to just, that's why we say, you know, you, that's why we say we need wisdom. Mm -hmm. And still, okay, this is really not really part of the discussion. But what I also want to say is that. As women, it's, we are supposed to know that actually, when God created everyone, He created everyone with a purpose. So that means I am not going to wait for a man to come for me to fulfill my purpose in life. That means that even as the man is wherever he is, he shouldn't wait. And I am wherever I am. It doesn't stop me from getting on board and moving with how the trainer. You know, we are now studying. We are now working we are now getting jobs and all that mm. so still even as a woman it's it's important for women to work in their lives as them mm. even before the marriage so that's why i'm saying that mm. when you're coming to the marriage you know if you're coming to help someone that means i actually believe helpers are like the strength of this yeah. person they are helping mm. because if you didn't need my help then i would not actually have been created but because you actually need it, without it, you are incomplete. Yes, that to add on that, you know, a man, I can provide a house, but it's a wife to make it a home. You know, a home. You know, I can be having a job, that you know, makes a home. To, to make it a home. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between a house I and a home. I don't even agree with a man having a house in the first place. Me, I feel like we should, let's, build, <laughs> let's buy it together, let's build it together. That's it depends on what well, that's what I plan. want. Yes, I don't want to get a man that has got a house. Well, what about let him have a source of income, but let us build the house together. What we are talking about here mm. actually is mm. not a man, let's say, having a house. We are talking about the mentality in the a mentality, man. Yeah. You understand? But the we question about a house, house, we have just brought it up. We are answering before? the question of is a house a and a car. A house, already a Do house and a car. The Which is the best thing? Like, who wouldn't want the best? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want a man with a house. I wouldn't. Why? I want something we uh, we build together. You know, some, having a house can't stop you from building. No, like house I together. want to be joyous. This is what Nidhi wants. I don't want a man that has got a house. I want us to build to buy that house together. Oh, okay, which means, that is what I want. Uh, me as so me. So Nidhi, for you, if I come to you, we we'll have, have a house. My house. We shall sell it and we buy another oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Out of that. Guys, I was talking. Yeah, guys, I was talking to my friend. You know, you know, this thing I told you it has been circulating a lot. You know, there are men abalangirira nyo. You found me with all these things. No, Julius, I'm, I'm just talking. What about what I think? We are looking at love. Eh? We are looking at. But love. Are you, do you know what the future holds? 
That's why you're in Christ. No, that's why you're in Christ. Because if Christ is leading you, it's not your duty to worry about the future. That's his duty. He's supposed to clear it for you. But what we are talking about here, actually, I completely disagree and I thank God that by the end of this show, I'm very sure your perspective would have changed. Because I believe that if a man already has a house, if you feel you're not really comfortable with your house, but it's what he has, it is okay. You can still build another one together. You can never get drunk of having many houses. No. You can still keep building as many as you want to build together. But it doesn't take away the fact that he, the, the, the good thing that he already has one. If he has a house already, I want, I want to present to you something. I want to present you something. I, I wrote it earlier, but maybe you, you didn't grasp it. You know, everything a man lays his hands upon, you know, it is made bright, bright like it, it becomes brighter after a lady, you know, has also come and blessed him because he's the vision. He, he helps, the, the, the lady helps in the vision of the man, of the husband. Mm. I, I've told you of a scenario, me buying a house and you choose the curtain colors, you know. The, 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 where the TV set will be, you make it a home. I bring you cereals, I bring you everything. That is I, before like, we got you, married. Before we get married. Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about, it, I'm talking about it, the concept, the mentality mm. of someone before even everything happens. Mm. You get, mm. I buy everything, you make me a meal. Mm. I can buy everything, fine, but you make me a meal. So I'm talking about two parties. Two parties, how ready the other party is ready to like chip in this part and make it everything move. Okay, let me bring this scenario to you. Mm. I think uh, it's going to help us to clarify this. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a guy. Okay, you meet a guy. You're a Sarah. You're a lawyer. You have made it in life. You have your home. You have your money. Now, you meet this guy at a restaurant. Yeah? He's a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. You talk. He looks to be smart in the head. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you start loving him. Okay? But, uh, after long, you, you, you come to find that the guy actually has nothing. What you saw there and it's what the guy has. But the guy at least has a vision. He has a plan, but it has not been working. But remember, you, you have everything. Now, that guy want to marry you. With what man? That's what we are saying. That you having a vision is not enough. The vision is not going to feed us. He's going to marry her with son. what money? So no. what What we are People saying... People marry ways. What no, ways? What would you marry me on a no, date? That's not, uh, that's not it. But I personally would not... Because if I am getting married to you, you must be having something you're doing. Yeah. Something tangible. You understand? Yes, you have a that's vision, but what are you doing at that particular <laughs> time? Vision. He has a vision. Are we going to he has something he's working on, but it has not yet worked. What do you mean by working on? <laughs> Men are hunters. Yes, yes they are hunters. They're still hunting, but they're not just good. Yeah, and if this, this is not like working, they're not ready to trend. be a man. You, no, no, it's not the woman who is going to make you a man. Yes. You no, actually okay, are a man. It seems that he now has to be having a helper. Maybe someone who can help him achieve. Marriage is a responsibility. Help him with what? With what when it's not even there? It's not time. Yes. It's just a vision on the head. Well, the vision that he has. No, please, no. First you, prayer for yeah, I feel like you, you're already chasing to speak. I feel like you, you, you as a man, you're already doing a very big disadvantage to yourself. You're chasing two big things at the same time. You, 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 you're chasing your vision. At the same time, you're starting a marriage. Those are two big things in That's life. You're you actually need you your own image on one on two things. You can't. Yeah. You need to first you trust have to one first thing. Establish yourself. By the way, it's very selfish mm. to think that you are actually going to carry someone's daughter and, and take bring her into a life which is not ah, mine. No, please. Okay. So you agree with me that everything that people are saying now together that a man should be having a car, a house, a home, something before he marries. It's just supposing, you are just supporting it. It's important. Personally, I'm not going to necessarily pick out that have a car, have this, have that. But what I'm saying is that it's very important for you to have something tangible. You must be working. No, we don't care what you What should a woman have? I want to know what place was for a woman. Actually, yeah. What should a woman, should a woman have? Okay. I'm a vision bearer. The woman is my helper. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what a woman does, what a woman has, I could even prefer when I 
I get to a woman, everything that she had, as you say, mm. we, we do as if it wasn't there. And she comes and helps me what I have in my ideas. And you do something something together. Mm. So most of what I want in a woman, as it has been said, a woman is a helper. Mm. So what I want more from her is not material. Mm. Yeah? How smart is she? How can she manage what I have and what I'm going to have? Mm. How is she going to help my vision, me to reach there where I want to be? Yeah? That's what I want. But when you get a woman, actually, uh, I'm not meaning that she should come and stay home doing my home business, your know, kids and stuff, mm. washing stuff. But um, a woman has to can be kind of be uh, like two in one. Okay. She, has, she has to be a woman. <laughs> she has to be a woman <laughs> at home. <laughs> And <laughs> there's someone just said something. <laughs> I want a woman that has a degree. Papers. Full stop. Full stop. I want a woman that has papers. <laughs> as simple as that. And there is someone who says, well, Don't you want someone who is educated? A man that is educated. Let's give alone that source of income mm -hmm. and a car and a house. How about when it comes to education? The papers. You know, that, that will take us on a different discussion but yeah because that comes to me as a person mm. you get mm. me as a person there are things that i don't debate i don't debate education i don't debate spiritual growth i don't your spiritual stance, yeah, that's what I we don't. want to know we want to know what your ideal man should be tell us we learn we need to know we need to learn <laughs> you need to say my man instead of him having a car and a house and a job my man is supposed to be this yeah that's what yeah. we want to know no mm. because um, okay, yeah, my man, my man should have, I like either side, you get, mm -hmm. because what I'm trying to say is that if you come with a car and a house and a job and you have, and you don't have these other things, for example, your spirit, your spiritual standing is wanting, I can't take you. If you come with all these things and you, you know, your education <laughs> background is wanting, Manga then I can't <laughs> take you. Because personally, I can't debate those. So we don't blame this guy who said for him he wants a woman with papers, a degree. Well, everyone has their own list. So that one's what? Why do you have a man Why do you have a man You understand? Mm. Just because you don't like someone who hasn't gone to school doesn't mean no, no person will want them. Another person who is right for them will actually want them. Mm. And they'll produce kids who, have, who will go to school. <laughs> Stories change. Yes, but you know about it. Like, it will be a surprise. <laughs> anyway, I was here and I heard I was something eh, about this very thing. You know, if a woman has to incorporate into your vision, you as the vision bearer, we should not forget this: that generations change. Here we have young girls with also their own visions. So you, as a man, you know, as you are having everything, as you are having everything, as you are at the helm of everything. There is a lady down there with a vision. Mm. Try to make sure that her vision is incorporated into yours. Don't smash her vision. And the men who say you are married, you are not working. That's wrong. You know, we have women in special. You know, women are coming up and they are shining. They are, they are highly placed you in society. You can't say it's wrong. Because mm -hmm. what I don't want us to drive away from is the fact that marriage is is. I work out, it's individual, yes. Mm -hmm. Like it's at a personal level. You understand? Mm -hmm. What will work in your For marriage you not is not necessarily grace. what is yes. going to work in another person's mm -hmm. marriage. Some, another one may stop their wife from working mm -hmm. and they agree to do that because marriage is an agreement. Mm -hmm. If that couple agrees to that, it doesn't mean we should carry what's in your marriage, mm -hmm. the rules and how you're running it, mm -hmm. and place it here. Mm -hmm. You understand? Another one will prefer their wife to work and that's very okay. Oh, to me, it remains wrong. To me, as for me, because I don't believe it's suitable for. Or oh, if she was. But if she's an engineer and we are going to see, we are going to miss out on like you know nice pub, you know road network bridges, and then the engineer seated at home moping. I see. So and there are women who. Do there are it. men who say that that once we get married, you're not going to work. Like you're done, your books put them aside and be a man. Salute to them, and I just, I'm just yeah. glad about that. It's, it's those are facts, those, those are things that are happening mm. actually. Mm. They just take a wife, they bring her home, like uh, for child production. Yeah, they have been saying the man has to have <laughs> house, home, job. 
Now have that. So you come, stay home, manage yeah, home. You know, stay me, with the kids. what I always look at is that before you marry, before I get married, I look at what is what the interests of this man are. Can I really be accommodate accommodate with them? Like can I settle with them? Mm. You understand? If I can't your younger life, if I want to work on this, you, you, you want want me to work, mm -hmm. then I'll look for another person. You get me not to work and I'm okay with you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll settle with you. That's how it works. Yes, what you have a year, Yagana, Omchara, or Kola. Omchara never did a send the union you cut your work and I need to get something happens. We have to come to the Kola to tear. After telling him what's not happening at this life, to the end of the Kola So I see it. It's so unfair. You should let the girl blossom. Huh? You Oh, the girl. Girl this, is, this is Mimu finding the winner within. I think we should go for a break and you just stay tuned in. Stay there, we are coming back. Welcome back from the break. This is uh, Mabel finding the winner within the winner back and the house is really hot. I know we left when everyone had questions and things. Well, guys, I know we are all from uh, different backgrounds, different societies. Mm. She's from Zimbabwe, you've been in Kenya, from Congo, he's okay. been in Uganda, Tanzania. Mm. And I know everyone has his view about what a woman should have. Yeah. I wanted to ask to you, like you, Julius, mm. what do you think you should be having before you get married? I will still stick back to wisdom. You know? <laughs> because, no, honestly, I believe in wisdom for so many things, not even just forgetting. Well, why should a man be having a car in the house uh, and everything could be having in material and you come with wisdom? No, <laughs> like you know why? Because, <laughs> no, because you know the Bible actually. The Bible says that a wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. This means that if I am wise, I am going to know how to build my home. But the Bible says a wise woman builds her home. It definitely building a home has so many aspects. It has the money. It has you know the workers, mm -hmm. it has everything we can always look at, but you cannot do this without the wisdom. We have seen so many wise people, so many rich people, but when they are foolish, it all just ends at nothing. But actually, uh, that actually even reminds me of, you know, that story of the talents, when they are, the, the, the master gives the servants mm -hmm. the talents, and he, is, he goes and he comes back, and the other, the other two took them and lent the money out and got interest on top of it. You understand? Because it is this wisdom that is going to tell me that my husband, let's say my husband is earning how much? Let's say he's earning 500,000 a month. And it is my wisdom that's going to tell me how to actually utilize this 500,000. It is this wisdom that is actually going to tell me that I can actually also start up this at home and do it to subsidize the money and do it to make everything, to keep everything moving. Personally, uh, I believe so much in wisdom because if I am wise, I know how to take care of everything. I know how to handle the workers. I know how to handle the relatives because 
you're going I'm going to come if I am I'm imagining I'm a woman. I come with my riches, I come with my car as well, I come with a house, but I don't have wisdom. Those relatives, by the relatives, you understand? But I need to know how to handle my mother in law. It is wisdom. I need to know how to So basically me as joyous, I rely so much on wisdom. And I actually want to say that if we can pray, we can say anything every day, yeah. is to always wake up and tell God, please give me wisdom in each and every oh, thing yeah. I do. So according to you, yeah, mm. you're going to remain, uh, you're okay with staying home when it rains and you plan for what is rains. Mm. And if you want to have something, uh, it has to be limited, like uh, it should not be go so far because you have to actually take care of what oh, it brings in. Okay, so maybe what you really want is for me to expound about it, you know? Because a foolish woman will not think that they can actually use their hands to do anything. A foolish woman will not think that they can also actually work. Okay, you what you're saying is uh, when you bring something, um, you find a way of generating it in other way. I can find a way of regenerating it and even if I am also working, I can find a way of marrying these things together and seeing that it is moving on so well. So personally, I would still rely so much on because there are times you're going to be working as a woman and you will know that now I have to leave this job. I go and settle and take care of my kids and nurture my kids as a mother. You understand? But if you know, you may not think about it. You may, if you don't have this job, you're going to think about the money you're earning, while your children fall apart, while your family falls apart. But if you have wisdom, you can know how to marry all these things every okay. now. Okay. Okay. I, I Joyous is telling us. Joyous is telling us that a man should come with what he has, he has to come with some. <laughs> but a woman should come with wisdom. Maybe I feel like we've like gone very mm. far. Uh -huh. I've, I've been, like you have made me enter in a marriage that I've not even like gone into. The question is, <laughs> what should you bring to, on the table? On the table. I've not even gone to me like handling his salary. Before we handle his kids, I've not even gone to that. Mm. Me, I feel like I'm supposed, I'm, I'm supposed to be able to if to manage on my own because by the time I can manage my own, I, I can manage things around me. I can work. I can manage the surroundings. What can What can enable you to manage? That's what I'm talking about. I'm like with the wisdom. Okay. That means I can manage all the things that I've, I've not even gone to like relatives and all those things. I'm just talking about me as Midi right now. Mm. Me, I'm not even engaged to anything, right? Mm. At the moment, what would I talk about? Oh, not not yes, no, I'm, yeah, but I'm not searching. I'm not searching. <laughs> so, I, me, I talk <laughs> about more em emancipation, like me as a woman, but it has to be at a very less dangerous level. Because when a woman has everything they need, Sometimes okay. they feel like they don't need a man. I'm speaking from experience. I the moment I left campus, I really started working. So that means if today I fought with the person I was seeing or a boyfriend that I had, I would say even if why I was supposed to fight for it, I would say, but I can take care of myself. For like, no, 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 I'm, 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 no, I'm telling you what I went through. There's a point where I had my salary and I would receive it. And I, I ate what I wanted. You know, sometimes us as women, we need men to provide those things. Like we need that protection. Like I have a boyfriend for him to be there for me to provide what I need and all those like companionship and all those things. But then there's a time where it gets so dangerous. Where I've been there. Where I have like everything. Even when I want to eat ice cream, I'll buy it for myself. Even when I want this, I'll do it for myself. So sometimes when that when when a woman is that strong to a point where she can provide for herself, it comes so it becomes so dangerous. So me, I think it is okay for me to also have something of my own, but I'm supposed to be to be at a controllable level. I actually feel it's abnormal for a woman to feel they don't need. How is it abnormal that I'm just giving you a smile that I've been there? That's why I am actually saying. But there are women who go. That was a. But there are women who go. Let us accept and appreciate the fact that there are women that go through that that saying that Biona Birina. Like I have all those things. Don't you so, understand uh, me? Uh, which which means that for you, when you're going to marry, even a woman you should be having. I want yes, yes. My point is me, I'm answering your question now. Leave alone what I was saying, it was just a by the way. My point is when I am to get married, before I get married, 
I'm supposed to have something of my own. Even if I have a job, even if I have a car, but I must have those things at a controllable level so that my man can manage me. Okay. So that no, I don't make no sense. I, no, 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 no. I, I'm sorry, but let me first disagree with this before it goes on. But I personally don't agree that it should be controlled. It's it's good you're saying that you should have all these things. But what I am saying is that what I want to say after is that a woman can have them even if to whichever extent they can. You understand? No, by controllable controllable level, I mean controllable, controllable level. I mean when I myself don't throw it on my man. It's more of a character thing. I'm not saying that if I'm, I'm not supposed to have. To, yeah, I'm not talking about a character, yeah, a character thing of like I'm supposed to know. Even if I have too much money in my bank account more than my boyfriend, I'm not supposed to throw it on his face. Mm. Because you know, I'm telling you, as women are like that. On Kazuwanga, when a girlfriend has more things than a guy, a man becomes a toy. Because she knows, like, I have a lot of things that a woman, yes. Zamu Gudinengo, yeah, when you go for a date, Zamu was saying. So I'm saying it is okay for me to also have things, but let me be on a control level, like, where I'm a God's fiction, where I control myself and I don't throw it on the bed that Zamu singer. Because by the end of the day, the man is supposed to have, to have an appetite. Which I believe, uh, knowing that you must be controlled, our dear viewers, mm. also calls for, you know, you knowing, being becoming wise and getting this concept of wisdom. wisdom like because I, I would like to speak to uh, young ladies out there, you know, your dreams are not limited. You can still shine. She's telling us she was off campus, started working, getting everything for herself. But let it leave you on a level when you can still submit to a power exactly. when you get there. Mm. You get? But be that wise woman. I found out, you know, wisdom. You know, the, the wife of Haman never stopped him when he was trying to destroy the Jews. Yet, she knew that the Jews were invisible. Wisdom will help you even sustain your man at his job. Wisdom will protect the wealth. Wisdom will protect everything. So, get that wisdom. Grasp it so tight. Do you have said something? What if in a scenario where you don't even know how much your, man, your, your boyfriend earns? <laughs> because I don't think all of us will know how much our boyfriend earns. You have one? No. It's, yeah, I'm just not married. <laughs> In a position where you don't, I don't think you need to know what your man earns. Mm -hmm. But what I believe, it depends on the relationship. And where, where it doesn't even involve you. Yeah. Imagine a scenario where by you are dating Grace. Mm. Remember the question is what should a woman mm. have, what should a man have? Mm. You are dating Grace mm. and then you you know that Grace is an engineer, mm. but that's how much you know. Then Grace does not even involve you in Then business. the foundations are already shaky. Because when you're you starting a relationship, you can't you can't clean. You understand? Mm. So Grace is supposed to tell you how much he earns. Exactly. It may not go as far as it wow. depends. I think that's why no, if you depends. are getting to marriage if your relationship now is serious I think. Mm. no you have to reach on that point i you personally no wouldn't mind much. about my husband telling me how much he earns what i would mind is about is the transparency do you understand like yes i know how your money comes you get like i know my husband is working he's doing this and that and that mm. and he usually provides this money for such and such things and by then he tells me his plans Joyous, I am planning to do this. What do you think about a house here? What do you think about this land here? You understand? You're not telling me how much or what, but we are talking about things I can really see. Like the land, we are talking about I'm planning to buy this, I'm planning to do this. Of course, those things involve money. I'm not going necessarily ask you where you're going to get the money from. So yes. I may not really need Are we, <laughs> are we not going to marry men who are not working? Uh, what is working a man who is not is work, a man who has no source of income. A man, a man, yeah, to the worker. A man who has no source of income has to first work on himself. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. before you get, I told you, you're not going to get someone's daughter and take them to eat your. But have you ever seen women that settle for that? Eating the beer. There are women. There are women that settle for that. My man has no job. I have no job. God will provide. Which means, which means, a man. A boy who is less is watching us right now, mm. who is relaxing, is not working, thinking mm. that everything will come. He may reach even at the point of being refused. 
to marriage because he doesn't have <laughs> get that main So whatever you are, if you are sleeping, <laughs> if you are relaxing, <laughs> you get that up that and start working on yourself. Yeah, that's that's very oh, that's important like... actually because what we want to say is that first of all, every man is very very important for you to have a vision. Mm -hmm. That's number one because when you have a vision, you know how far you should go, you know where you should go, and you know it's it's easy to put your life in control. You know what you can go for and what you won't go for. Mm -hmm. So you can't, as a man, your head should always be thinking. You should always be thinking, and from the thinking, you put it into practice. We have seen folk have started. You know, from small things, from whatever, you, from we, we should never look at, I want a company, I want a what, but right now, with what you have, what are you able to do, with what you have to push you to the next level, you understand? Go and do something, there is actually, they already say, you know, a lazy man, you, you find someone because they are not working, even at midday, they are still in bed, and you are vision there, that is... That vision is, is magnified, <laughs> so, which means... A man has to come with something. Yeah. Actually, uh, if you have a vision, you first work on yourself. When that vision produces, you have something that you can get a woman to come and help on. And so you are you, it's home. also just prudent that when you bring them, you care what they are actually coming to live in. That mm. is what I consider love. Even if you love someone, really, why would you bring some, you, someone's daughter in such a problem? Well, exactly. Somebody. Why? You yourself, you're not even put together. So how are you going another to confusion. another person and tear them apart? Everything. If they are tearing apart, yes. even it has been said that the man has to be coming with everything. Like, mm -hmm. Not everything that has to come with something. Why? When a man has wanted to go with something, a woman comes with everything. Uh, comes for everything. Comes everything. You, it's you who has and he, he doesn't yeah, have. Yeah, the man doesn't have and you have and you come. You love each other. No, it still goes back to vision. You understand? What I say is that, okay, personally, I, 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 I can date someone who doesn't have all these tangible things. As long as I can see that you see where you're heading. Mm -hmm. And you I don't agree. just see, but you are there to see it work out. Like you're on the move. You get not just telling me how I'll buy land here, I'll do this here, but you're seated at home. Mm -hmm. You understand? I can date that person who doesn't have anything, but they are working. So they are they have through. vision. You have to have vision. And vision is it's it's not both. We can't say it's expensive. So how about the few few things that you need in a relationship? And if he doesn't provide them, what's next? No, by the time you you have to be patient. Because if you're in a relationship and you know your man doesn't have these things, you won't demand for them. Don't demand for things that he cannot afford. What if that if, what if that growing that 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 vision of his takes longer and you lose your patience? I'm just looking at all situations. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 it's true. It's true. Where it no, takes it's four years and you're waiting. Why make, actually, why would you wait for someone for four years? So how long are you doing? Joyous. Let me say someone wants to start a, 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 a business somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. The capital is not there. And he has a goal, but the capital is not there. You're saying four years, you can't wait. Then it takes a year when some... You know, money is not just easy to find. <laughs> and the person has failed to start that business. So are you going to leave after that one year? Because you what can't stay I for longer. What I'm saying is that we, we, we always have a chance to choose what to say before, before we get married. Mm. Before you make that covenant. Mm. Mm. Before go. Mm. You get? Mm. So if I see that I cannot... The patience I have cannot ride us as long... That's on your speed. Then you leave that person. You're not married to that person. Right you when their speed doesn't correlate with what you are doing. After you say what you've said, she has just advised me, I'm not going to risk. I'll get to you risk. when you have something. I'm not risking. Because I'm going to waste my whole year when I'm waiting for you to start that business. But and the you, can, you can still get to someone who has something and that something disappears in four years okay. and then you go back. It's a number. Right. So that's why we say it still goes back to vision. Mm. Because with vision, even if you have all these things, mm. you still have a vision of where you are heading. Mm. You get. Mm. The Bible talks about a wise man having to store. You, you store some money somewhere. You understand? In other words, we are not, yeah, we are not looking at mm. all these things you have, but you have a vision of even if this is done, I still have investment somewhere yes. else. Funding. If What's I have that do? man, I would. I have no problem funding my money. Yes, I want to talk about something, about, you know, visions that delay. You know, there is a point of, you know, vision conception, watch for me that. Mm. And there is also, there is a gap 
between vision conception and vision delivery. Mm. Whatever happens in between that gap rotates around the one who is the vision bearer. Mm. So if you open a vision, you don't open the gap. Vision or open the gap, or where open the slope. Show us how to have vision. We are going to go there. Watch the girl. You are going to go there now. Show us how to have vision. You are never corrected. You are always right. You expect everyone to be patient with you. You expect everyone to be patient with you. You are not attending meetings at your workplace. If you have where you are working from, you are not okay, respecting your... I've dated someone. I've dated someone that yeah, yeah, yeah. Has dreamt, yeah. someone has dreamt about a business mm. for three years. Guys, I want to do, I want to do this business. I want to I came in the picture. I want to do there is nothing as annoying as having a man in your life that he keeps saying, I want to, I want to by the way, you can always tell a hard working person. Yeah. Not by what they have, but by what how they handle what they have. Mm. You understand? Mm. You can always tell. And now that's why I can't believe that a man can tell me that they are stranded. If you're a um, yes, yes, but yes. it's true. Okay. Which means it's okay for a man to come with everything we'll be with and a woman just come with the thing that will help her will help her support what I have. Like wisdom says. Someone said yeah that she must she must have an address. The woman, you have an address. You must 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 have an address. But she must have somewhere she's coming from. So I'm thinking for someone. Yo, for someone who's a refugee, who has nobody, are they not going to get married? No, are they not going to get married? Mm -hmm. I think. Let me tell you this. That's so so, so, so yeah, address. That. Let me tell you this. Oh, okay, for example, you are you are in Uganda. You're a refugee from, for example, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. May, uh, your address is there. And your current address in that particular nation is where you are residing from. Mm. You know, make yourself strong. Don't rely on your malone. Like make, I say, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to be with a woman who his family I don't know. Mm. Reach out to it. They're not What aliens. if it's not there? There are people that a girl she is she she has a child. 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 Yeah. To some other people, you understand? Mm -hmm. But we are looking at things that can't be done away with. That's really very, very, very important. Yeah. To you, it's important for he we actually said it to me. Mm -hmm. He said the woman well, yeah, must have an address. address. But for him, he said he said it here. 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 Wait, this is amazing. This is amazing. I, love, I just love the way everything is coming out. You're making but me speak mature content. I, <laughs> I still, I still want to. I still want to. Sorry. I, I still want this to be clarified. Right. Mm -hmm. I still want to to hear because on men we are mm -hmm. talking about material things so much, but on women. We are now talking about addresses. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom protects <laughs> well. I also talked about a job. I also talked about a job. I also want to be materialistic in some way. Mm. Yes. No, of course it's, it's important for women to, to have to earn some money. Do you know, do you know why are, us, we are talking more about character? Me, like, I'm still going to go back there. You guys, it is so dangerous. I've seen it when a woman has got more than a, what a man has. Mm. It is very dangerous, even if dangerous. the men's egos. It is so dangerous. <laughs> and then you'll never make a mistake of reading a man that I, I have a job that is better. Like such men, eh, they for them they become they just want to eat what is you. That's why I asked you, can you find a man? I had a reason why I asked you that. Mm. It depends, it depends. Maybe. I can I can find my man. But I've been a man that he's not going to do anything else but to feel. Yes, have you ever taken a man? No, that is different. But I mean, I do. But I mean, I'm a friend. It's it's this is an issue of this. What you're talking about is responsibility. You get as long as my man, I know he is not manipulating me. As long as I know he is responsible, you get. I can come in and find him. Why would you try find him? 
why why am I working? I'm working for my guys. Yeah. I'm working for my family. <laughs> if there is something that I learned in this life, I'm not going to pretend to know someone. I will understand myself because even me understanding myself is hard. Hey. Yes. Like even knowing who Midi is, because every day I'm surprising myself every day. Something new is happening when I'm like, what? So I'm not going to pretend to understand someone else's son with different backgrounds, different parents, like different everything. Me, when it comes to the man that I'm choosing, I'm not going to choose a man that I am better than because I have been in a situation where I was the one love blinded me that I was feeding that guy all the time. That's where we are saying love blinded me that that for me to see. That's why we have this. That's why we have it looked so right to us. That's where discernment comes in. You get you kept on telling me I have a vision. I have a vision and me I knew no, you had working. Brother, you well, working let me tell you something. You, know? Gambia, you can see someone's character not by what they have but how they handle what they blinded. have. What but it blinds you and even someone can pretend okay, to be yeah, somebody but they are today, not. Today we are learning. <laughs> even if Mind's my man good. is earning less, mm. you get? Mm -hmm. Still in that place he's earning. I am able to actually partake of it. You understand? There is a man who will earn very and he will tell you, you know what, I can't afford to take to take it to let's say Hotel Africana. But I can what up and take you to KFC, you get, or I can go and buy for you at least a road. You understand? <laughs> yes, in that little they have, mm -hmm. I still see responsibility of feeling that I should actually have some of it. By the way, when you, if someone really loves you, I thank God I've, I've really had, I've really, you know, but <laughs> if I <laughs> really what? <laughs> There is a way God created them that they, they, their life is literally rotates about someone they love. Yeah. Like they give. Love is yeah, giving. Abeba Ayagala Okua. What was that? I think you've been meeting the right men. Not that's where I am saying. That's where discernment comes in. Mm -hmm. You get. Mm -hmm. No, stingy, of course, I may meet them, but I won't give you chance to waste my, waste time. my time. This is what I'm going to say for a young woman outside out there who is watching right now. Right. It is it is okay to expect a man to be something mm. but also make yourself something that a man wants you to be. Well, what a man wants. Age. So before you <laughs> <laughs> So I have before a you give <laughs> Go on me. Did you just say that I mean? It does. <laughs> before you be on the receiving end, mm -hmm. also be at the giving end. Mm -hmm. As so pray so much for like we are saying it's a me move. Just as much as we want God to give you a specific man, also pray for yourself. Pray for your character, you as a woman. You know, it makes a lot of sense when a woman, like you said, with the wisdom, with even even when you have so much money more than your, your man, mm -hmm. but because you have that wisdom and you have that character, you need to be humble, you need to be, like you need to be that person that you know when a man leaves this, he's going to come back when you have changed into something else that is beautiful. Yeah. That's what men want. So before you even expect, no, I want to know what to be like this. What is needy? So pray for your own character as well as you're, you're praying for a man. You're actually very, 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 very right. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's also the other thing women should know is that Teddy Yomkazi, Omogezi, Namuav, Techi Soboka, and there is no man who has a wise woman who can ever be poor, mm -hmm. or who can never die poor. It also still even goes back to mothers. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why mothers, their wisdom has a lot, uh, a big role in place. In the boys when they are growing up. Mm. God is an architect of the universe. Mm. Um, yeah, sure. When he was creating, <laughs> <laughs> when he was creating, and he created everything, he saw that it was cool. Yeah. Then he brought the man in. Mm. Then he gave the man responsibility. Mm. He gave yeah yeah. We go and go and buy the water and rain. Hello. The man was there. Mm. He had what to look at. Mm. Now, after long, God saw that. I have a discussion with you. He needs a So, God, he, he made him sleep and he brought him someone, even from himself. Mm. Yeah? Which means that whatever a man he is right now, whatever a woman he is now, just know you are a man, you have to be working on yourself. As it has been said, 
don't wait for that time when you feel like uh, your your physical feelings are sending you to get a woman. They may feel like I have to go and get a woman. They may refuse you because you have to work on your vision. This is the time you have to be working on your vision. So that you'll be having something that a woman will come and help you on. Me more finding the winner within. Guys, uh, actually, it's built to me, and I know whenever you have one more hour. So, don't stop watching, don't stop tuning in. Even if you're not to watch this when it has passed, you can still go on, on Facebook and yeah. tune in and Rest watch and send you comments. You can go. On West TV, West TV Facebook West page, TV Facebook page, and like um, even YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. You can just go there and find out there. I know if you mix up our knowledge, we are going to yeah, get there. The better us. Yeah. So it's all of us together. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we only have. We don't know much. Mm. Yeah. We still need to acquire knowledge, yeah. and that's what we want from you. So just go on Facebook page, West TV. Just send your comments, send your idea, your vision, and everything you can be sending. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Bye, guys. We love you. God bless you.